In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can make $500 to $600 per week selling websites to small business owners. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lester Diaz, and in this channel, we talk about making money online, affiliate marketing, social media marketing, and everything in between. So if you're new, consider subscribing. So I got an email recently from one of my subscribers on YouTube asking me how they can start a business for less than 100 bucks. Now, this might sound a little bit difficult because typically it takes money to make money. You have to spend money online to either start a blog, uh, start a website or do something. It usually requires a little bit of money to begin with. So starting a business from scratch with zero money, it's usually not the case. What I'm going to share with you in this video is a simple way for you to actually, if you can do this, um, and this is something that anyone can do, doesn't matter where you live. If you can do this, you can easily make $500 to $600 per week. Now, in the beginning, I used this strategy to be able to make some money to uh, buy courses and invest into marketing tools that I couldn't afford. I didn't have the money to, to buy them and also to make money for advertising because I was testing different things. I was trying to make money with many different things and I needed money for advertising and I didn't have that money. So this simple technique, this simple strategy to make money allowed me to be able to make those, uh, you know, 500 to $600 per week by simply selling websites to small business owners. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I'm going to break it down for you. Hopefully this is going to give you some ideas. It is, this is just basically to inspire you to do something that if you really want to hustle, if you really want to make some money, the money is really out there. It's a matter of knowing what to do. Now, if you want me to break down this entire process step by step, I can do a follow up video. If you guys want to see it, you can leave me a comment below. I can do a follow up breakdown video where I show you exactly what to do step by step. And I can just upload that uh, to YouTube so you guys can see it and you can follow along. In a nutshell, it's very simple to follow. The only thing that you need is basically knowing how to use WordPress. And, and if you learn how to use WordPress, you can learn this in basically in a day. There's plenty of YouTube videos uh, where they teach you how to set up a blog, how to install WordPress. And most of the hosting companies out there have a one click WordPress install. So that means that you buy a domain name, you click one thing and that's it. You have WordPress install. Even though I knew a little bit about WordPress uh, when I started doing this, I didn't have a lot of knowledge on WordPress. All I did was I set up a WordPress blog um, where I was posting content on a weekly basis. So I knew how to set up a WordPress blog, how to uh, upload a template and how to do the basic things. I, I was not an expert whatsoever, but I started browsing on Craigslist and that's where I found a guy that he was looking for someone to set up a simple website for his business. All he wanted was just uh, a domain name with a website with some pictures, some services of what he actually offer, uh, the address, phone number and things like that. A very simple website with contact information and things like that, that he needed for his business, but he didn't want to pay, you know, $2,000 for that website. So what I said, I replied back and I said, Hey, listen, I'll make the website for you. Um, I'll only charge you $500 for it. And, um, it's going to be, it's going to look real nice. It's going to look very professional. And I promise you, it's going to be uh, a really nice website for your business. So he replied back to me in like four or five hours. And he said, listen, if you can build me this website in the next three days, I'll pay you the $500. So I, I said yes. And I started looking for uh, templates that I could use for his business. So I went to themeforest.net and I bought a template. I believe it cost me like 20 bucks to buy this template, bought a domain name and I installed WordPress on that domain name. And I, basically I uploaded the, the template, added some text, some images, uh, that he actually had. And I had the website set up in less than a day. He was very happy with the website. Then we decided to just transfer the domain that he wanted to that website. And voila, I made $500. So I thought, well, this is so simple. It took me less than four hours to do something like this. And I made $500. What if I could do this once a week? What if I could find a client that will pay me five to $600 per week and finding the client, that was the most difficult part because building a website on WordPress, um, installing a, a WordPress theme th that is so easy and so simple to do. You can go on YouTube, you can find 
hundreds of tutorials on how to do this. But finding the actual client that was willing to pay you $500 for a website, that's a different story. So I had to learn how to do that. And I started using mainly Craigslist. I started using uh, Google. Um, I started using the Google review section to find people who didn't have a website where I could call them or message them and say, hey, listen, I know you don't have a website. I can build your website in like three, four days. It's gonna look real nice. This is some of my previous work. By this time, I already have the one website that I built for that client. So I, I, I could use that website as, a, as an example of my portfolio of what I knew how to do. If you wanna get started with this type of business, uh, the number one thing you need to remember is you gotta build your reputation first. And in order to get clients, you gotta work. Uh, you gotta work for free first. You gotta be able to either you get lucky like I did, which I found with that one client that was willing to pay me 500 bucks uh, for that simple website, or you simply offer your services for free to get one or two websites out there, which you can use as a referral. You can use as a testimonial to get new clients, and that's the best strategy. That's how you get. Uh, one client per week. What I did is I started reaching out to a lot of people on Craigslist. I started reaching out to all those people. If you go to the job section, you can find a web design section of people posting that they need a website, that they need this and they need that. And you can find it on almost any city. So I started reaching out to those people and say, hey, I can build you this website that you need in less than three days. And I'm only gonna charge you 500 bucks. If you're not happy, I can start building it. If you're not happy, you don't have to pay me anything. So immediately people say yes, because they had nothing to lose. So I started building those websites. I will get those websites in like two days, basically, because it, it, it would take me less than four hours to build and i would make 500 600 for doing that and the way that i would get the clients i would say hey listen i did the same thing for this guy and this is the website that i built for this guy and the website looked really nice i'm not a designer so what i usually did is just buy templates from from uh, theme forest and other sources out there uh, where i could actually buy a template for like 20 30 dollars and i can flip that into five six hundred dollars and believe it or not, most business owners are not uh, interested in, in whether you bought that template for 20 bucks and now you're charging 600. They really don't care about that. They just want to get uh, their website for their business. They're just worried about their business, their sales, their customers, and they really just want to get going. So when they reached out to big uh, web design companies and they say, oh, we need to give you a quote and we got to talk to you and we'll do this and it's going to cost you 2000 bucks, then most business owners say, well, I'm not really sure if I want to pay that amount of money and it's going to take 30 days or 35 days. I don't want to wait that long. So if you just come to a business owner, um, any business owners in your city that doesn't have a website or perhaps he already has a website and he needs a better looking website that's responsive, that looks really good on the phone. It's an improvement on, on what they have already then you can charge them 500 bucks. I promise you it's gonna take you less than three hours to build. Because these are simple four page websites. We're talking about the homepage, a services page, perhaps a testimonial page if they have testimonials, um, a contact page, and that's pretty much it. So you don't really need uh, a lot of information for a business unless they have an online store and they're selling products online. If that's the case, then you can use something like Shopify. But if what you want to do is you want to find um, a small business owners who just want a simple looking website. They don't want to wait 30 days and they don't want to pay a thousand, two thousand dollars for a website. You can just bring them the results that they want. You can say, hey, listen, I can build you this website in three days. I, I can start building it now. If you're happy with the website, then you can pay me five hundred dollars for the website. And now you might be thinking, well, Lester, you're probably, you're probably going to lose money some way because the thing is you're going to have to pay for hosting. You're going to have to spend money every single time you build a new website. You're going to have to uh, buy a new template. That's going to be 30 or 40 or $50 to do that. And if you're going to invest money in advertising, you need to invest $100, $200 in advertising in order to find new clients. Well, I... I stumbled upon those problems and this is what I did. The first thing that I did is I got a share hosting account. That means that I bought a hosting account that it would cost me about 
you know, $20, $25 to be able to host multiple websites under one hosting account. So I can, because those are small business owners website in my local city, uh, they usually don't get a lot of traffic. So I could host, you know, five, 10 websites on a single hosting account and I wouldn't have any problems with that website. Now, if, if the owner wanted to pay for his own hosting, then I would say, hey, listen, um, once I'm done with this website, you can tell me where you wanna host it or I can set up the whole thing for you and I can transfer that website to your hosting account. If you didn't know how to do that, I would just pay a freelancer, you know, 15, 20 bucks to do that for me and, and that's it, that's how I solve the problem. When it comes to the templates, what I did is I found uh, membership websites um, out there when it comes to WordPress templates. You pay, basically how they work is you pay a membership fee and you get access to uh, 50, 60 templates which you can download and you can use to build multiple websites if you want. Instead of just paying you know, $60 for one template, you're paying $60 a year or something like that for 50 templates. So that way, every time I talk to a business owner and say, listen, I'll build this website in the next three days. If you really like it, then you can pay me. And if you don't like it, that's okay. Because I, I wasn't actually spending any money. I would just grab the template from the, the, the membership website. I would install WordPress and I had the website created. And then once I actually showed them the website, they loved the website and they would pay me 500 bucks. So I did this over and over again for like six months and I was getting between one to two clients per week because I started spending money on advertising. I took some of my earnings. I was spending about $400 per month on Google ads and that allowed me to scale my business a little bit more. Instead of trying to find people on Craigslist and on Google and things like that, I started uh, getting people to my website, um, to a website where I actually set up and say, listen, if you need a website in the next uh, 72 hours and you want a, a website that actually it's designed to help you sell and promote your business and it's not going to cost you a thousand bucks then call me and using the referrals that I have from my previous work I would actually close those people I would say listen I did this website for this guy and I did this website for that guy and basically uh, they said yeah I love the website what can you do for mine and I would charge him six hundred dollars five hundred dollars depending on how complex if they wanted five pages on the website if they wanted more pages like about uh, the, the company or something like that, I would charge them like 50 or $100 more for that extra page. Probably sounds like a lot of information, but it's really not that complicated. I don't care if you're 17, 18, if you're, if you're not, if you're 16, you can do this with uh, basically anywhere in the world. You can do this by simply reaching out to business owners that don't have a website or find business owners in your local city that have really ugly websites and in, in those don't look for uh, complicated businesses like you know um, online stores and things like that you're looking for uh, regular business owners like a chiropractor or uh, a dentist and you're looking for small businesses in your area that really need a website perhaps they don't spend the money on the website because they feel like they don't need it or because they it's too expensive so usually you can get to those people and you can say, listen, I can build you that website that you really need for 500 bucks. In fact, you don't have to pay me anything until the website is done. And if you're happy with the website, then basically, uh, you know, you can pay me because you can set up your hosting account. You can get a share hosting account on Bluehost, for example, where you can host multiple websites. I think you're only going to pay like eight bucks a month or something like that to begin. Then you can upgrade to be able to host more websites. Uh, you can get into a membership where you can pay a, a yearly fee and you get access to, you know, 20, 30, 40 different templates, which you can use for those different websites. But in the end, it's, it's all about the hustle. Whether you want to call business uh, owners in your local city, whether you want to search on Craigslist to find those people who are looking to build a website for their business, or whether you want to spend money on Google ads to get people to call you and say that they want you to build their website. Uh, it all depends on you. So whether you make one sale per month or one sale per week, it's all about you and what you do. I hope that this video made sense. I'm just giving you some ideas on what you can do to start making money right now. If you wanted to make money $500, $600 per week, it is completely possible to do it. If you want me to break this down 
into a more detailed level of actually showing you on my screen of how I do this, then um, all I want you to do is just leave me a comment below, share this video. If you want uh, more people to see this video, share this video um, and just give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. So with that said, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope that this video is valuable to you. That's my goal with this channel is just to provide you value, share my experiences and tell you what's working for me, what's not working. And hopefully you can use that information to build your own business. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.